Hello, this is Jamie. This is a tutorial on how to create a height map and stick it in UDK. But the first thing you need to do is go to uh, Google. Uh, sorry, one second. Google and download these two software. One's called L3DT. Um, basically, creates the height map. Yeah, it's a large 3D terrain uh, generator. Basically, you download that and then you download another software called G16ED. Uh, G16ED. And it's a, a train editor update. Basically, it saves it into a RAW file and allows you to import it into UDK. Right. You just open, once you've downloaded uh, them two, open up the L3 DT edi editor. Then go on file, cancel, uh, file, new product, uh, project, uh, discard, yes. Uh, just click next. Uh, it normally starts off with uh, uh, 1024 by 1024, but I've done it as 256 because uh, it makes it small and it's easier to, well, file size really. Um, just click next. Uh, next again. And these are all the settings that you have to basically edit your height map. So you can either have it like more sea than land or flat and steep, etc. Cliffs and terraces. I've chosen many. I uh, have a lot of cliffs. Um, not a lot of strength, uh, noise strength, scale features, not a, no lakes, a bit of erosion, let's say a bit flat altitude. See, let's have more land actually. Right, and once you've done that, you, oh yeah, the default climate climate is um, you can either choose tropical, desert, Arctic, or artificial, etc. I haven't really seen that much difference in the ones I've chosen because they've pretty much come out the same. But for this, I'm just going to choose uh, tropical. And then after that, click next, uh, click height field, then just OK, then depending on how fast this is going to uh, process it might take a while but once it's done it should come up with the uh, height map ah, that didn't take long at all right basically the white bits are how high the height map goes and like obviously the black bits is how low now this one isn't very large in scale, it's like it's sort of going to be one big hill and the rest is not but it's only a tutorial so you can mess around with the settings and make your own uh, height map it's basically just goes through and how, how you uh, process this and then next you want to do is file export export active map layer uh, go in file format click it down to uh, raw and then just choose a file name I'll do it to the desktop um, save it as test height map click save save again ok again right then once you've had that then you go into open up uh, the other software the let me just quick find it the G G16ED then go and file um, import raw data and then find the file you just created so uh, okay, it's not letting me do it. So let's go desktop anyway. Uh, there it is on desktop t uh, test height map uh, dot raw. Now I'll open that. Uh, leave with this. Uh, it's press import. Import complete. Right now, why don't we do just to resize it? Because it doesn't really matter. Just 65 by 65. And then just go and save that. Uh, desktop again, uh, test type map again, but without the raw, just copy the name. Right, and go and save. Now that should be right. Now we close these down. Uh, don't even really need to save it. Um, right, now I'll go open up the Unreal Development Kit. Click on the terrain editing mode or press shift 3. 
and then it should have a little uh, import uh, option. Now click on the height map only. Now I'll press import. Um, go to desktop, find where you saved it. Test height map, there it is. Um, right, it should be there. Let's have a look, see. Oh, yeah. For some reason, for me, it comes out really long. So it's not really a problem because you can just really you can just scale it down. But uh, what I've seen from other people that it comes out normally. I don't know if it's just something well, I've done on my computer or I have no idea what. But yeah, see, it creates the uh, height map already. Obviously, this is pretty of a poor example of a height map because it's just like one big lump in the middle. But if you uh, mess around the settings with um, the first software we used, like more cliffs or make it more sea have more sea than land or something it might come out a bit different like a bit more mountainy around the edges or something I don't know but this is just an example so if you this looks a bit boring really so you create a uh, uh, add a light quickly just to show the the direction of the lighting is going obviously all this fuzziness is because you need to you need to rebuild your lighting so that's why I had a problem in my last tutorial I didn't understand what's going on and then I just messed around with it uh, rebuilt the light and then it all went fine again so let's just quickly do that without light mess turn that off because well that's basically for if like, if you start the game or pl uh, play your new map in the actual PC game itself and not the editor if you don't use light mess if you don't render the light mess then it will, all the shadows would just come out black and it just wouldn't look right so just uh, but for now as we're not in the game just uh, render the light without the light, light mess and as you, as you can see, it's all smooth. The lighting's all smooth. I mean, there's this is basically picking out a light source from wherever it's coming from. You can't really see because it's all black. But guessing over in that direction behind the mountain because the shadow is this side. But anyway, um, to just add a quick uh, material just to show you how it's done. Um. Um. I used this last time. <laughs> One second. Um, let's go and find just any old material. Not a crappy one though. Um, try this one. It's got good settings on it, so you can change it between uh, raining or just plain grass. Makes it give you a, a good old uh, water effect. If it, if you basically you wanted to have rain on your scene, it'll create a water effect along your grass. Um. Just right click height map again. Uh, new terrain setup layer for material from the material you just picked from from the content browser. Now it auto should automatically load. Yep, it's loaded. Uh, fine, we can go for that. Um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, obviously you don't really, you might not want to have it all grass, but it's just just like a shortcut way of making a huge, huge uh, landscape, like for like. Um, a favourite of mine is uh, Red Dead Redemption. It's got a humongous landscape and it's a great scene. But let me just test out. See, it, wait, it's be the line again. Just show you, it might be big already. I'm not really sure. Play from here. Yeah, you start off over here, so it should be quite fairly big. But then again. This is pretty boring, not a height map really, because it's like just one big lump in the middle. But it could be used for like something that's out in the uh, distance or in the scenery. So I'll leave you to uh, mess around with the settings for that. Uh, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching.